I think I hear something. It's coming down the tracks. We're here at Doe River Gorge. This is a great place to hike. Railroad, river, there's so much to offer here. This is, this is pretty cool. The temperature here is probably 10 degrees cooler than the outside. I'm in a cave. Is it a cave? No, it's not actually a cave. Actually, it is a railroad tunnel where the rain never falls and the sun never shines. Well, it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine. Although it's not a mine and it's not the typical cave either, it's one of several railroad tunnels at Doe River Gorge in the mountains of East Tennessee. Kate and I traveled to this scenic area for a day hike on a spring morning to hike the railroad trail and explore these tunnels and see the raging waters of the Doe River that forms the bed of the gorge. The experience for both of us was absolutely fantastic. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Actually, I think this is North Carolina. Oops, looks like I was wrong too. We were just inside the Tennessee border. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. Early in the 1880s, the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad built a narrow gauge line from Johnson City, Tennessee into the mountains of North Carolina to secure valuable iron ore. Laying the tracks through the gorge was a challenge to say the least, with a pathway along mountain ledges, narrow tunnels, and crossing the raging river several times. But in 1882, the rail line was completed for passengers and freight all the way to Boone, North Carolina, and provided the way for a train that earned the name Tweetsie from the high pitch of its whistle. That same train still operates today at Tweetsie Railroad Amusement Park, just outside of Boone, North Carolina. I hear the train a coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. And time keeps passing on. The pathway for this trek will be along the historic railroad tracks themselves. Before you hit the trail, you'll have to secure permission from the Doe River Ministries who own these rails and the property that surrounds it. Well, it's early spring, so we don't have a lot blooming. Uh, the buds haven't quite come out on the trees, but still there's a lot to see on this trail as far as nature goes. You've got uh, rhododendron, you've got mountain laurel, uh, you've got fern, uh, various types of moss, Look, there's some trillium just right over the hill there. White-tailed deer, black bear, mountain lion, bobcats. We haven't come across any of these on the trail, but they do live in this area. Pretty up there, isn't it? Oh, you look at the uh, redbud. Yes, redbud blooming. It looks like we've reached the end of our trek. The hike can't go any further. We've come to the old steel trestle. The Doe River still gushing underneath. It's a very picturesque spot, but it's just not safe to travel any further. Efforts are underway to improve this railway and preserve this precious slice of our heritage. To get to the trail, you'll head to the Doe River Gorge Retreat outside of Hampton, Tennessee. The trailhead begins just outside of the retreat offices. Call before you come for permission to hike on the trail and remember to stop by the office and fill out a form, name tag, drop the form in the box so the folks at the camp will know where you are and when you'll be back. Great place to go on a hike.